Spectator selects a card. It's returned to the deck. And then it's back on top. So, D, I'm going to dribble through the deck whenever you want, just say stop. Stop. There? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to place your selection on top of the deck. Just for a second, I want to show you what this is. This is my prediction card. Take hold of it. Don't look at it just yet. We're going to do something very important with it in just a second. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You chose the four of diamonds. So I'm going to take it and place it into the deck. I'm going to give the deck a cut. And now I'm going to dribble through the deck again. I'll tear my head away and I want you to place my prediction card anywhere roughly in the middle of the deck. Hopefully you're going to find your selection with this card. Okay. So let's give that a try. So wherever, just stick it yep. in. Perfect. So how many cards down do you think you placed my prediction card in the deck? Uh, 26. 26? Right, we're going to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The 20th card next to your prediction card is four of diamonds. That was your card? Yes. Yeah. And not only that, you take a look at my prediction card. The 21st card, it's also the four of diamonds. Nice one. So, D, take the deck, give them a shuffle. Do you, uh, do you play any card games at all? Um, yeah, I play a bit of poker. A bit of poker? Yeah. What is the, the best poker hand you can get? Uh, a royal flush. A royal flush. Perfect. Well, there's a few techniques you can use to deal yourself a royal flush if you were the dealer in a card game, you know, just a, a casual game. So let's say I wanted an ace. Here it is, ace of spades. I'll do that again, but with a face up so you can see. The ace is in the deck and I can instantly bring it to the top for myself. So if I was dealing the cards, I'd do what's called a second deal. So I'd basically slide the ace aside and deal around the table, giving everyone else these cards and saving the ace for myself. It can also be done from the bottom of the deck too, which is called a bottom deal. It's held like this. You deal around the table and you deal yourself the ace, which is quite cool, but when you get good at it, you can do this too and find yourself a royal flush. Yeah! So, D, can I borrow your phone for a second? Yep. Perfect. I have a prediction written here. I'm going to show you what it is in just a second. Um, load up the keypad screen for me so we can dial a number. Right, now as you can see, just by tapping the screen, you can get numbers. And I'm going to have you select a number like this. Let me just clear the screen. Just uh, tap the phone three times. This will generate a completely random three-digit number. So, three times. Yep. And you've selected 276. Cool. Yep. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, take a look at my prediction.